guys today i want to show you how to use enxp because most of us we don't know how to use it well so i'm going to explain to you each and everything in this platform what is enxp enxp is the huawei simulating uh, tools uh, which is used to simulate huawei devices as we know other companies also have their own simulating uh, program example cisco have uh, packet tracer which is used to simulate who uh, are cisco cisco's device so and here we also have this platform called ensp which is used to simulate huawei uh, devices so uh, because it is used to simulate huawei devices so uh, we we probably have we probably have devices that we are going to simulate so let me show you where you, where, where you find them and uh, what are the how can you use them so first of all uh, we have routers these are uh, types of routers we have AR series so in Huawei we have this AR series and the most type of router you will be you'll be going to use is this AR2220 AR so this um, devices that are used to loot and forwarding packets on layer 3 so we have also switches found in layer 2 which are used to forward our uh, frames and uh, uh, and also packet and, and on the layer two. Also, we have access points, wireless devices. Uh, here we have access controller and access points. These are devices used to forward uh, wireless network. It is uh, used for wireless uh, data. It means that if you want to deploy your um, your network, uh, a wireless in a network, so you have to deploy these devices access points that are used to connect. Uh, and these uh, stations and access control are used to to control and they manage access points so these are wireless devices also a file which protect your network from external intrusion and uh, unauthorized uh, access so if you want to protect your your internet for uh, your internal network against the external network so you have to deploy these devices so uh, where the uh, when you we configure maybe our networks and the, uh, maybe the requirements of our network we need to deploy a file so you have to take this file here we have usg 5500 and the usg 6000 version also we have end devices example laptops stations pcs client cell phones and etc also a variety of cables connectors these are these are used to connect to devices and uh, the network in general so we're going to use uh, we're going to see how to connect and then how to use them so this is a console cable which is used to um when you are used to configure and manage the network device example when you buy a new switch uh, it means that it, it, it don't have any configuration yet so you have to log in it manually so that you can initiate some configurations in the sector so you are going to use control uh, this control console table to configure that device so also um this is uh this white play uh white, white space here this is a uh, working place that you you are uh, frequently use when you want to deploy your network so you just be taking this, uh, your device here and the drag in this region so this is how we we we, we take devices from the uh, where they, they are to the working press so you just take uh, and then drop it on the working working space so example here i'm just i have two routers these are two routers and uh, i want maybe i want to 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 connect these two routers to form a point-to-point -point network so these are two routers a AR2 and AR3 so I have to take uh, connectors either have to uh, you can choose auto this auto auto connection it means that uh, a system itself it choose the number of interface to connect and uh, you're not you not interrupt uh, the the, the okay let's proceed so i'm going to take a copper and uh, i'm going to connect these two devices here so you if you uh, when once you take a connector and they will, uh, you're supposed to go to the uh, to the device and you you select on top of the device and and this menu will pop up first of all it's uh, it prompt you to choose 
um, a port that you're going to connect. So we have, here we have Giga Ethernet 000 and Giga 001 and Ethernet port. So if you want to connect through the, through Giga Ethernet 000, you have to select this. And now, you, as you can see, there is a cable extended extending from AR2 to AR3. So if you you want to connect and this device, you have to select on top of it and uh, you have to choose the interface that you want to connect. So here let's say I want to connect Ethernet 000. So if you choose that and this will be your connection. So uh, this uh, you can you can make it you can create any topology that you want by just taking these uh, devices here and uh, putting them on the working space selecting the access point putting them putting uh, selecting let's say firewalls then put it and uh, also uh, here yes just um it's a matter of <coughs> uh of creating a topology so if you want to turn them on you are, you can uh, you can turn them on one by one you can select the, all of them and uh, turn them just by using the same uh, only one action so maybe if if you want to to start to turn a device one by one turn on one by one you have to select a device either you can right click and start a device if also you can select a device and go to the top bar and here we have a start device you can start through this so now the device is starting so here this device is start or you can select multiple device and turn them on by just one click okay as you can see now now is starting device 50% okay 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 now it's okay okay also you can select you can place control a and you say uh, this, con uh, this this command is going to select all devices and you can turn them on by just one click by one click also it's a way of turning so yeah okay but if you want to shut a device you uh, you you do the same uh, the same way but in reverse you're going to, to uh, you let click on the device and stop now uh, stopping a device also you can select maybe let's say i'm going to select a uh, access point you can select access point and stop etc oh uh but uh, when if devices is is turn on complete you will see the this green indicator this shows that a device is now on if you see maybe this device um this indicator it's lady indicating lady that means that the, this device is not it's not on at the at the moment so if uh the the, the status of the interface goes to goes to green that means that a device is on okay now we are starting the device okay here on top here we have many 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 things so maybe which will be which uh which is not necessary for you to know but actually you just uh learn how to use them once at the moment we inter interacting with this platform but here we have text which will be used to to uh, to to label Maybe if you want to write a certain IP address, the two one zero one zero four. Here also we have this drawing. If you want to highlight some some devices, maybe you want to to, to highlight some devices, you can use this this uh, this uh, this these functions to highlight your devices. Also, you can zoom your topology, or you can zoom out your topology. Also, you can make these this, um, these numbers of the interface disappear by using show or interface. If you 
click here show interface you see the interface if you click them the interface number will be disappear also you can so if you want to configure a device uh, you just click double click on the device and the device uh, will just in the uh, the console device console will just come come on and here this is where we will be configure uh, will be used to configure this device so if you want maybe i want to configure ar3 you just click on the device and this menu will pop up and then everything will be online okay so these are just simple uh, simple explanation on how you can use this platform there's a lot of things up to, to learn but as long as you use it as long as interacting it frequently you get to know many things so maybe if i want to to configure maybe uh, if i want to rename a device because this device is ar3 but by default when device is on at the first time is on at the first time uh the it it has no name so you have to rename so uh, if i want to uh, to rename example enter to system view then system system name then the route route Mm -hmm. see. now the name is changing from Huawei to to route so this is how you can name your device okay also how you can how do you, how do you save your your project if you want to save a project you go to uh, to to save there is save or save what so if you save then it, it will ask you where, where you want to save your project now you choose a directory and uh, everything will be okay okay this is how you you be how you can use this platform in sp this is a huawei simulator used to simulate Huawei devices as we as we saw uh, we have switches routers firewall access control access points we have connectors we have uh, fire uh, frame relay switches and there are many 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 devices so this is how we uh, you can use this platform okay thank you enjoy the moment